Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's I, it's your pal Al, here with Jack. Hello, how's it going? I love that Umbreon shirt you got on. Thank you, it's it's couture, it's custom. Oh, did she take another edible already? No. Oh, you just seem so like loose and ethereal right now. I'm just trying to have a good time, you know? It's, I love it's that. Been, it's like, why do I have to work? You know, people say, like, just give me a million dollars and I'll retire. But, bitch, I need, like, five or ten million dollars. Well, yeah. And I'll retire. But nowadays, a million dollars and, like, it's a thousand. Today's economy, yeah, it's not working. So, um, I'm, op I'm open to bids. We're open to all forms of payment, people. Let us know. We need a con we need a uh, we need a contract deal. I already have a contract, but I'm willing to break that for a better one. Let's negotiate. Ah, uh, wait, no, I just heard what you said. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, Jack is a good streamer. Jack used to stream World of Warcraft. He used to be oh, a top God. raid oh, okay. guild uh, raider. Like US top 50 or something, I don't know. Exactly. And you're really good at Overwatch, so I'd watch you play Overwatch. I just know you, Jack gets very competitive and he gets very angry. <laughs> I I think, like, with that, like, knowing that about my history, about myself, I just, I pull back. And that's why I don't really like to stream because I don't want to showcase those emotions. <laughs> well, good thing we're not here for either of that. We are here to review episode four five of Canada's Drag Race! We're here and it's already time for Snatch Game! Snatch Game came early this year. Yeah, it was, I was kind of afraid for it and obviously I was right to be afraid. I just have to say that and I actually, I didn't bring this up. Garrett brought it up when we were watching. He said that he doesn't like when they have so many queens doing Snatch Game because you don't really get a taste for everyone. Yeah. Which I agree with. I thought there were a, like one or two many queens in this group for Snatch. Well, before that, though, we had a little mini challenge. We had the reading challenge, which was iconic reading challenge. It was shady. It was. I don't know. It, it was, was a flop, though. It was. I, this whole episode, honestly, was a flop. But we continued with this drama arc, which kept me oh, invested. Oh, my gosh. We didn't even talk about Melinda yet. Melinda, the star of the show. Okay, let's backtrack again. So the queens walk into the workroom, back from the double save. And the girls are not having it. They are mad. <laughs> and I was living for this drama. I was like, yes, I, yes. I can't believe Nira when... When Brooke said that, um, <laughs> you Shantae, you both stay. Yeah, Nira's like, what? 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 <laughs> that was so good. It was gaggy. It was iconic. You know, Melinda, you know, we say a lot about her looks, a lot about her makeup, but she is big, the gift that keeps on giving this whole season. Hey, we keep talking about her, so clearly she's doing something right. It is Melinda Varga's Drag Race up there in Canada right now. I think it's Varga, not Varga. Well, it is Varga. Chup on me, Varga is suck my... So we know, yeah. I don't speak that language. <laughs> I loved it. The girls are like, you shouldn't be here if you don't want to be here. And she said, I never said that. And they're like, you did 10 minutes ago. She's like, that's a different person. That was a different time. I'm okay yeah, now. Yeah, they were literally like a, spe they said like a specific amount of time. Like it was like 45 minutes ago or something like that. I was like, oh my God. And they girls just kept going in and going and I loved it. I was eating it up. I was like, yes. It was fierce. This is the drama I wish we would get on US seasons. Yeah. We haven't had anything like this in so long. I think the last time we had anything cool. And I wouldn't even say it was as good as this, but like the Candy Muse and Tamisha Amon oh, yeah. argument, but that felt so fake, you know? Yeah. This is like, this This feels real, like genuine in the moment. Speaking of drama though, this reading challenge was a flop. The girls had one thing to say. I remember the only one I really liked was, Venus, the only curves you got on you, baby, is that fucking tuck. <laughs> oh, that was good. There was some. There was one. All the queens got like two or three reads. There was one. They're probably bad. Got, well, there was one queen who only got one, and I think Melinda. It was Melinda right? Yeah, it was <laughs> terrible. 
I'm sure the rest were so bad. It was a terrible reading. Though. And then they showed like Denim doing like three, and like obviously Denim's winning, but they weren't even yeah. that good either. So it's like, no. okay, whatever. No, they were duds. They were duds this week. All right, so we get to Snatch Game. We got Venus as Joe Exotic. We got Luna as Mary M. Cosby, uh, housewife, I guess. Uh, we got Denim as Julia Fox. Iconic. Nira as Jennifer Coolidge and Miss Kid and Caboodle as Jennifer Coolidge. This was a gag having two Jennifers. It was, and we'll get to it. Uh, Kiki as Elizabeth Taylor, Amy as Jesus, and Aurora as Emperor Zhao Bing. And don't forget Melinda Verga as Manny Bob. Pacquiao. Yes, thank you. This was duds besides Melinda. They were all bad. Yeah, like you like you predicted. Insert clip here. <laughs> like you literally called it. I was telling Garrett when we were watching it. I'm like Garrett. I'm like Garrett. Alex called that. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> well, they're not like comedy queens or like witty queens. They're they're performers, look, but look queens and performers. Yeah. yeah. Between the two Jennifer Coolidge's, Kitten Caboodle was more funny. She had like better responses and clips. <laughs> Kinda. And and the voice was okay. But near enough, her impersonation of Jennifer Coolidge is spot on. That, like, <laughs> it was so good. I thought it was, like, she didn't really say the funniest things, but, no. I but thought, her like, impersonation of her was so solid. They were, like, the same to me. Like, Kitten was a little funnier, but, you know, like you said, Nira had the look and the sound down better. But they were, like, the same to me. Like, everyone was flopping. It was just was not funny. They had nothing well, I funny noticed to how... say. Yeah, I noticed how uh, Denim is Julia Fox. I think we only saw her respond to like one question and then yeah. she was basically like edited out of the episode. And I think that was intentional. She probably, they probably could have justified putting her in the bottom, but they want to keep her. Mm -hmm. So they just like kind of made it so like she like flew completely under the radar, which I didn't really like. Again, it's one of those situations where I think that there should have been more than three people in the bottom. It should have been all of them because I mean, fast forward, we get the lips and Lollapalooza later. No one was really funny. Like I thought Kitten would be funny, but she wasn't really serving it. No, I was hoping she'd be funnier. I mean, Amy was kind of funny just with her reactions to stuff. Like, yeah. how, how can we be better serve Jesus? And then goes, suck at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she had some good quips. That was funny. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was kind of hilarious that Brooklyn is the one telling these girls how they should be in Snatch Game. I'm like, girl. Girl, Brooklyn girl. flopped so hard. At, <laughs> like, okay, it would be so much different if Brooklyn had like done amazing on her snatch game. Yeah, but because she flopped so hard as Celine Dion. Like, I just can't. No, RuPaul. There's RuPaul again. RuPaul. <laughs> Ru Ru RuPaul's calling. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, and, and Jada. I'm like. Why is Jada here for Snatch Game? Jada does not do good on Snatch Game. But Jada was funny as Prince on uh, All Winners. I oh, thought yeah. that was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't like hilarious, but it was cute, funny. You know? Yeah, and of course, you know, Brad's there with Tracy. And, Hi, Brooke. Let's be squirrel friends. It's like, okay, Tracy, are you okay? Do you need help? Blink if you need help. <laughs> Tracy, I love Tracy, but yeah, it's so robotic. It's hilarious. Category is steampunk. First down the so road. Fun. I love this category when they said it. I was like, yes. So cute in camp too. First on the runway, we have denim, and finally a fucking silhouette. I was like, ooh, I love this, baby girl. I was gagged when she came down the runway with this. This is one of her best looks. Best looks. So those far. those wings that would move by themselves. The top yes. turny hat. The mm -hmm. the wig that came out but didn't wasn't like too much. The elf ears. Oh, this is such a good look. I love this look. Yeah. No, I have no notes. This is pure perfection, like elf fantasy, like steampunk. anime, steampunk. Yeah, it's super cute. Yeah, nature and machine. Yeah, love it. Next on the runway, we have Miss Near Enough. Girl, don't drag Miss Nira for this. I already know. I can see, I can see it in your eyes. You're not ready for where, it. Where? Where's the steampunk? This is just saloon girl. <laughs> you can't, you can't deny it. There's not really steampunk elements her monocle, that, like, stand out. Her monocle, the little gear on her hat? No. She looks hot, though. She looks 
years. I mean, it is different from the regular Nira look, so I'll give her that. Yeah, I like this look. Does it fit the category? Barely. Well, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't matter. <laughs> Next to the runway, we have Amy Yance Chanel, and I think the best makeup she's worn so far. Like she she's gorgeous. Her face looks so good in this look. She's a model. Like I, I am so impressed with her presentation. Yeah, and it's. To me, it doesn't read as steampunk. It reads more like Victorian. Victorian saloon girl yeah, again. Yeah, like, yeah, saloon girl type <laughs> look again, which maybe that was how they were prompted. I don't maybe, know. Who knows? Maybe. I like the goggles as, as the bra. That's kind of cute. But other than that, like, it's just like a basic, like, it kind of almost looks like a Christmas look, like a Christmas, like red and green. Yeah, kind of. Again, that mug though, that hair, that hair looks so good too. I'm just like, dang. Rich. Rich. She looked great. Next down the runway, we have Miss Melinda Verga. Hey, it's a I, step up. It's a step I up. I am impressed. I'm impressed. The garment she, looks good. She stepped her pussy up this week. The piece. A soft step. <laughs> Again, saloon girl. Different than what she's been wearing, though, so I'll give her that. She went, like, more simple with the makeup, and it didn't look as, like, hard so i think that was a really i think that was the biggest improvement were was the makeup this week i think in this picture they just blended it for her though we're looking at the world of one these are world of wonder pictures and i think they smoothed out her face it's possible yeah they, i think so and it's like a lot of girls say like painting for tv is way different than painting for a show it's true so no there's so many more lights that you have to like you like you have to understand how much lighting goes into a production of a set and everything. Next to the runway, we have Miss Wait, O. You liked her last week's look, wasn't that? Uh, the yes. The white, the white no. dress from Wish. No, last week was the uh, Vivian fucking Westwood. Oh, oh, <laughs> my, oh my god! How could I forget that we literally had this whole conversation about it? Oh yeah. Next right. to the runway, we have Miss Aurora Matrix, and she fucking looks great. Her Dude. makeup, her mug. Aurora's looks are incredible. I love this, like, this is actually giving steampunk. It's yeah. It's giving, like, avant-garde. Steampunk Spider-Man. Fashion. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of almost campy, but, like, it's so much fun. And, again, she, like, is integrating her Chinese culture into this. And where why you chose to do your snatch game character as your plastic character weren't you miss venezuela no i was miss colombia <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same crown correct no <laughs> i don't know i just thought she was <laughs> what's she not what what do you what do you mean i don't know i i can't remember if she said anything about it or not i i feel like this like i feel like this neck piece is maybe that's just steampunk I think it's just steampunk. I think like a lot of these pieces look very costumey, but the way she put it on and with everything else, I think it all goes together really well. Next to the runway, we have Miss Kid and Caboodle. Different look for her. Yeah, this is unique. Again, I'm seeing different looks from Kitten. I wouldn't say it's like the best look. And steampunk, sure. sure. A little bit. I can see aspects of it. There was another queen, I think it was... Uh, luna that literally has the same mask oh yeah this so. gave me like steampunk at a ren fair you know like going to the ren fair for the weekend and dressed up like i'm sure she made this it looks well put together i want more sequency like the only sequence i see are the boobies like i want more rhinestones everywhere maybe the hat get rhinestoned oh yeah i like how the the cape is lined though with the purple it makes it pop a yes. little it's giving like purple witch kind of almost mm -hmm. with like steampunk elements it's fun it's cute it's, it's basic but it meets the prompt and yeah like it's different from what we've seen next to the runway we have miss luna dubois in the most the basic mask. saloon girl no all she had was the mask bad look. no this is such a bad look it's not it didn't there's fit. nothing here that's inspired by anything oh. yeah that's just too. the face i just see a bunch of fabric put together and a corset and, and pasties and poking out. <laughs> yeah, they're all like 
like get it together. We gotta clean this up. Yeah, I mean, she looks great. Her legs look great. Her ass was out. I was like, okay. Oh, there's, there's no doubt about her beauty. It just doesn't fit the prompt. The prompt is not prompted, baby. Next in the runway, Miss Kiki Ko. What do you think about Kiki pants? Um, this is different for Kiki. Yeah. Like I wasn't expecting it. Steampunk bits and pieces. It's like borderline for me. Yeah, she got um, the gauntlet. I love her makeup and wig. Oh, I thought she looked like, great from the makeup. The, the makeup and hair, incredible. Like she is another queen that can paint, girl. It's amazing. The look, eh, it's like middle. It's simple. Back. It's simple again. I want rhinestones. I want it to be glitzy and glamorous. Like it's a drag show, baby. Drag wow. steampunk, come on. And last but not least, we have Bane, aka Venus. Um, <laughs> exactly. This is it's a costume from Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I didn't like the wig. I didn't like. I I just want curves, and you know the only thing curvy about her is her dick. But yeah, this is not. This is not. This is not good to me. To me, my bad opinion. There are elements of it that I like. I think Venus has a banging body, yeah. right? So she can literally put anything on, a diaper even, and the judges would eat it up. But this look though, like if we're just looking at the look and not the body, Play. Uh, the look is from spirit.com. Yeah. Okay, I, I could order and have it shipped in three days. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say it's bad because it's not bad, but mm, it's kind of bad it's, for drag race. It, it's not, yeah, it's not, tour it's not main stage ready all right so that was it tops this week are i don't even know why there's more than one top and i don't even know how these other girls got on the top but we got melinda verga we yes. got venus yes i was how was crazy how me. venus i was insane joe exotic was bad they barely even talked they said maybe one joke and that's it yeah second amendment yeah that's it and then we got King Caboodle as Jennifer Coolidge number one. If I was, if I was them, I would have been like, and I was first, I would have been like, oh, thanks, Brooke. Oh, I see you got my drag queen over here. <laughs> I would have like, you're, wait, your Jennifer Coolidge isn't bad. <laughs> That's my snatch game. I can't, I can't do Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, you make me want to hop down real bad. Exactly. There you go. There you go. I can't do it. No, my Jennifer Coolidge is so bad. I just wanted Kenan to like pop off more with people, but it didn't really happen. There's so much material with Jennifer Coolidge, especially if you followed a lot of her work recently, like White Lotus. Oh, White Lotus, yeah. Obviously there's tons of stuff from Legally Blonde. These gays, they're trying to murder me. Like what she, where was that? She was in a she was in a Christmas movie. Oh, like yeah. there's like there's so much material and mm -hmm. I feel like was it edited out or i just don't know i don't I think like it was it there was, i don't yeah maybe but probably not so that left the bottoms being kiko yes. aurora matrix and luna dubois rightfully so i mean mm -hmm. again everyone was bad so it could put anyone down there yeah i think there was just justification for anybody in the bottom so uh so our winner is Melinda Verga. Melinda Congrats. Drag Race. Yay! I was like a total 360 from last week. <laughs> I, I, let's just say that. Oh, and then as soon as she went, I was like, okay, she's definitely saving Kiki. Like, Kiki was like getting the critique. She's like, uh huh. Yeah, it was horrible. And I was like, this girl knows she's going to be safe. She's not worried. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a little worried for a moment, but I mean, I'm not surprised at the end. Melinda decides to save Kiki from lip syncing yeah. of course as she should yeah exactly. as, as would i i mean she did say she wanted to be like kind of fair and like if kiki already got saved i maybe would have saved aurora and the girls like give an explanation the reason the girl i've chosen tonight has saved me before so <laughs> and for like, myself yeah like literally <laughs> like, okay well we know who it is yeah. thanks for giving that away but i'm so uh, glad she did it because we got I, we obviously we got Aurora at the bottom with Luna Dubois, mm -hmm. and then this lip sync. I think I finally see the star that Aurora is. When Aurora started lip syncing, could not take my eyes off of her. I oh, was oh she's incredible. Odd. 
twisting, but she like captivated me. She made me want to watch it. I didn't even look at Luna. I was like, oh girl, Luna's gone. She's dead for. <laughs> it was. I mean, I already knew Luna was going home just based on how it had been edited. No, Aurora. Aurora, a. I'm excited to see her in the Lala Perusa. I did not know she was like that. I was just like, oh my gosh! Like it was one thing to be a good lip syncer, but she was just captivating. She just yeah. stole me and like made me want to watch her. I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's a star. I love it. Aurora wins. Luna has to go home. Bye bye, girl. Okay, away, mama. This is RuPaul's everyone stays race. You got to go home. That's the episode. Do we forget anything? Brooklyn wearing. <laughs> I Brooklyn, told you. Um, Brooklyn repurposed Melinda's look. Exactly. Brooke is coming out and looks at the past girl who should have gone home. And watch next week. It's going to be who went home? Luna. She's going to come out to Mook Lair inspired no, look. No, I already saw it. She posted it on her Instagram. Oh, she did? It's got like a pink wig or something. Oh, King Caboodle. Oh, here's my Kenny Caboodle inspired look. Oh my gosh, that's definitely Kenny Caboodle! Oh! <laughs> that is definitely Kenny Caboodle. Fierce, right? I mean, sure. Winnie Harlow is the next week's judge, too. Winnie Harlow. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, like I said, Melinda is the true star of this whole series so far. I love it. The, this person showed me gratitude! <laughs> And she flipped the table. I was like, yes, Melinda, get your moment. And then be like, Girl. girls, have you ever had a fear of being canceled? I thought I was going to cancel for last week's shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I'm very much enjoying this season. I'm eating it up, baby, and I want seconds. Mm -hmm. Honestly, crown Melinda. <laughs> well, crown I don't know her. about that. <laughs> crown her? No, you have crown her at this point. I don't care. Who who are who are your tops? Because I'll tell you who my tops are. Okay, my tops are Melinda, uh, <laughs> uh, Denim, Kitten, and Venus. Okay, okay. I would say Denim as well. And I'm, I have to say Aurora now. Aurora is like got me, and I'm like. Mm -hmm. Girl, you deserve it. You're great. Hey, Kiki, okay. we'll see how it is. I'm excited to do these every week with you, Jack. Thank you for being here. Thank you. It's always so much fun. It's so much fun. Thank you all for being here, for hanging out with us. Let us know down below what you thought. Tell us whose look you like. Tell us if we're crazy. The judges are seeing something funnier that we are not seeing. Are we delusional? Deranged. Probably. Thank you all for being here. We will catch everyone in the next episode. Until then, we will catch you all later. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>